Well, happy Tuesday, everyone. Pastor Scott here, and we're continuing another week of morning check-ins. Now, what I want to do beginning today and kind of going through Monday is to talk a little bit about the different approaches to evangelism, the different approaches to sharing your faith with others. You know, there's not just one way to do that. And when you look in Scripture, you see different approaches. Now, today, let's think about Peter, and he would have what I call the straightforward approach. Now think about Peter. What kind of personality did Peter have? Well, it was a ready, aim, fire type personality. In fact, you could really say his personality was more ready, fire, aim, but that was Peter. Uh, when Jesus said, who do men say that I am? And the disciples were him hawing around. And he said, who do you say that I am? It was Peter that said, you're the Christ, the son of the living God. If Peter felt he was right, he went forward without hesitating. Remember when he said to Jesus, if it's you, tell me to come out on the water to you. And Jesus said, come. So Peter went. Now, it's this guy that Jesus uses on the day of Pentecost to give a straightforward approach to sharing the gospel. Listen to these verses from Acts chapter 2, verses 22 through 24. Men of Israel, listen to these words. Jesus the Nazarene, a man attested to you by God with miracles and wonders and signs, which God performed through him in your midst, just as you yourselves know. This man delivered over by the predetermined plan and foreknowledge of God, you nailed to a cross by the hands of godless men and put him to death. But God raised him up again, putting an end to the agony of death, since it was impossible for him to be held in its power. You talk about straightforward. Really, Peter gave three major points. Number one, Jesus is God proven to be the Messiah by his miracles. Number two, his being crucified was part of God's plan. And number three, God raised him from the dead. So for Peter, when it came to sharing his faith, it was a straightforward approach. And how did God use him on that day of Pentecost? Well, the Bible says in verse 41 that 3,000 people believed, were baptized, and became part of the church. There are times in our life when God calls us to a straightforward approach and we share with somebody the good news that Christ died for their sins, rose from the dead, and through faith in that, they can have forgiveness of sin and eternal life. Let me ask you something. When was the last time you shared the gospel straightforward with somebody else? Well, let me pray for you and myself right now that we would have the boldness to do that this week. Let's pray. So, Father, I thank you for the gospel. It's the power of God unto salvation. And I pray, God, that you would give us the courage to share it straightforward when you call us to, not being ashamed of it, just like Peter was. So give us the opportunity this week to share our faith. And we'll give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, tomorrow we're going to look at the story approach to sharing our faith. So I hope you'll share this on your Facebook page, and I hope you'll join us tomorrow morning for another morning check-in. Have a great day.